Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow Good Citizen News as he somehow manages to gain entry into the Department of Emergency Management in Galveston, Texas. Stick around until the end to see what happens. Hey guys, it's your boy here, Good Citizen News. Today we are here at the Galveston County Department of Emergency Management Services. Uh, I believe there's another, there's something else in here too, but this is a Galveston County building. I did my research. Oh, looks like a government vehicle. How much you want to bet he's going to stick his camera in that window? It's a nice car. Government vehicles are like candy to frauditors. They've just got to take a look inside and see what they can see. Some water bottles in the back. Having seen nothing of interest in the car, the frauditor walks away to find something that is more interesting. Perhaps somebody that can give him a reaction that he wants. Many, many minutes later. Five minutes later. Oh look, all media must be escorted. How much you want to bet that he ignores that too? Hi, how's it going? I just uh, was coming to get some information from your office. Okay. The Department of Emergency Management is not a publicly accessible building. It is only available to government employees and those who are in need to know on the daily operations of the emergency services for that state. Whoever was on the other end of that needs to be disciplined.
I grew up around the Florida Department of Emergency Management in Tallahassee. My father was employed there. And if there had been this kind of security breach in there, then there would have been heads rolling. Especially since you would have high-ranking officials like the governor using the command and control structure in those buildings to coordinate efforts to help those in need during state emergencies like a hurricane. That is a major issue right there. Good. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Okay. How'd you get up here? Just walked in. Because this is a secure facility. Who, who are you contacting? Oh, I just came in to gather information. I, I know, I know who you are. Um, but how did you get in the secure door downstairs? They let me in. Who let you in? I don't know. Okay. Can we come back out of here for a second? Sure. Okay. So, yeah, the only secured areas would be no, like the, the authorized whole personnel. The, the whole building is, the first floor is the unsecured area. Okay. Well, they let okay? me in, so. Well, no, no, and, and I get that. I'm not, you're not in any trouble, okay? Yeah. Um, but I'm going to walk you back downstairs, if Why? you don't mind, because this is a secure area and you're not supposed to be up here without an escort, okay? Because it says, so come on with me. Well, you can escort me around. Come on. Didn't you hear her, Frauditor? She said she was going to escort you out of the building, not through the building. Hey, can you wait right here for just a second? No. Thank you. But of course, like the mischievous little frauditor he is, he continues to wander around until she catches him again. Hmm. You can please come back here. I ask you to stay right here. Was I detained? No, this is a secure area. So this well, is anything that's marked authorized personnel is secure. The whole damn building is supposed to be secure, you moron. But some other idiot let you in, and now they got to deal with you. I understand. But you I, I haven't met you before. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I don't give it. Oh, you don't? Okay, yeah. great. If you don't mind, if you could come with me. How you doing? How's it going, buddy? Good. Nice to see you. Yeah, they're going to have to have you leave there. There, anyone with cameras has got to be escorted up here. Well, y'all can escort me. Yeah, so she, okay. She got I got to do my business, so sure. I, got, I got some information and I got to gather. Are you working for? Myself. Pardon me, ma'am, but he's an unemployed frauditor who managed to find a hole in your security system. You may want to think about plugging it and getting rid of him. Okay, yeah. good. And what was your name again? I don't give it. Okay. Yeah. So what type of work are you doing? I'm just gathering some information from the offices. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, you're in a government facility right well, now, yeah, so what that. is your business? It's gathering some information from some offices. Okay, what information did you want? Whatever information is okay, available. Look. Come on, let's just go. Come on. Well, I'm trying to gather some information. I'm having a conversation with her. Uh, actually, if you don't mind, I would feel safer going downstairs, and you can either walk. But there's offices up here, aren't there? Actually, right now we're doing some training. So come on downstairs well, okay. right now. We're disturbing the situation. I'm not disturbing anything. Y'all are the ones that are coming, you know. So how did you get in here? They let me in. I said I got to gather some information. The guy let me in downstairs. Okay. So, I think that was an accident. I'll let you in. Yeah. So, well, I literally uh, said I'm gathering information. Okay. So, so, all right. Who did you contact? Sir, this know. is, this is yeah. a secure facility. We're informing you of that. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to. So, ahead. people can't come in here and, and gather information for public? And not unless they're, they get a pre approval and they're escorted. Who would they get pre approval okay. from? From emergency management. Okay. So emergency management gets to authorize who comes in and out of the building? Yes. I don't believe that. Well, you better believe it, buddy, because some high-profile people go through those buildings and they need their security. And I'm sure if they found out about a security breach like you, there would be heads are rolling. So come on with us. Well, let's, I got to gather some information. Let's go downstairs. Once, once I'm done gathering the information, okay. then we can go. I'll Sir. leave. Please don't make this more difficult than it has I'm to be. I'm not being difficult. I'm trying you to are, gather some information. You are being asked by somebody who has the authority in this building to mm -hmm. leave. Yes. Okay. I'm... Whether it's whether it's public or not, whether it's open or not, you're being asked to go downstairs, and I'm asking you politely to go downstairs. Okay. And I, well, I will. I okay. have not refused to leave. I will when I'm done gathering my information. Okay. Sir, please go downstairs. Okay. This doesn't have to get unfriendly. Okay. 
Let me ask you this. If you were in our position and you were found somebody inside of a secure facility, what would you do? Please, ma'am, don't ever ask a frauder that question. You would not like the response. Secured facility, it's, well, I came in here. I understand. Gathering you... information. They let me in. You have cameras all over the building. So if I was to do anything bad or nefarious in any way, then they would have it on camera. See, what did I tell you? He gave you a response that you wouldn't like. It means that he would let anybody in just because the cameras would catch the outcome, not because they're a security risk. Okay. Again, can we please go downstairs? For what? I'm gathering information. Okay. Can you please go downstairs? What happens if I don't go downstairs? It's time for you to leave. I'm requesting you officially to get off the property. Okay, and if I don't? Okay, what ha normally happens when you are when you don't leave a uh, secure facility? Uh, so I will, I'll be arrested if I don't leave? Asked. That's, I'm asking you what normally happens. I'm, I'm asking you. You're the, you're the office, law enforcement officer, I would assume. So if I don't leave, I will be arrested. No, you're saying that. No, no, I'm asking you. I, that's a question. So if I do not go downstairs, like you're requesting, I will be arrested. That's, that's the question. You say yes or no. I hate to cut out all this quality content, but they just go back and forth on this security issue for the next 10 minutes before they peacefully escort him out of the building. I don't know if I ever got your name. I don't think I Yep. That's okay. just what I go by. Yeah, man. Like, as I was saying, like, uh, upstairs, I was like, if, you know, I go into a building and it's, there's restricted access almost in every government building I go in. Right. In some level. Like, you can't walk behind the desk at the clerk's office and those kind of things. Yes. You saw my card? Uh, I, I want, believe so. If you don't hear back from uh, Lieutenant Eni, okay. shoot me an email. Okay. Because cool. I, I want to make sure we have all what the What was her name again? E e D I D H E. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, as I said, like if if it's if I look at the law or whatever, and it and it's it actually requires like authorization where you have yeah. to like go through a process, that's fine. But if I find out it's not, then I'll be back here to challenge it, and we'll have to go through whatever yeah. process we have to go through litigation wise. Yeah, and that, that's why you know this is. So well, you, I get that. You push three. I push three. I wonder. He's not. He's not usually in the building here because he he works out of the fire stations. Okay. Well, like what, how he, like what I said was, I was like, hey, uh, I pushed the button. I was like, hey, I'm here to gather information from the offices, and he was like, okay, and opened it up. So yeah, yeah. I mean, makes sense. Yeah. But so, all right, man. Well, I'll get yeah. out of here. Thanks, hey, brother. Good luck, man. We'll do. Watch out for the heat. Yeah. Try my best. Well, there you go, folks. They were nice enough to not call the police on him because they realized what he was, a brain-dead frauditor with nothing else to do in his life. On the other hand, somebody in that building didn't do their job properly and let this fool in. And given the kinds of people that walk into that building at any given time during emergency issues, that can be a real problem. Hopefully, it's a problem that can be fixed through further training. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. And until next time, have a good day, good night, and I'll see you next time.